You guys are hot. Welcome back to the channel. So today's gonna be another video. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna do a different type of video. So we decided to do like EDC type pocket dump video. So my partner and I are both gonna do our separate uh, videos on what we carry every day off duty since we're law enforcement officers. And just to give you an idea, the type of stuff that we would carry on us if uh, we're outside of our job. So first off, we'll uh, start off with uh, the most important thing is your wallet. As you will see here, this is uh, Dango products. Uh, I'll show you right here. This is called uh, the M series Maverick wallet. It's a front bronze edition. So uh, as you'll see on the video here, um, this is going to be a whole separate video just on the, the wallet itself. Um, I used to carry the biggest wallet that like it stands a lot on me every day and I couldn't put it in my pocket because it's just too big because you got to carry a badge on you. This thing is perfect, very minimalistic and you can throw a badge on it and I'll do a full review on it, especially some of your law enforcement officers who are trying to downsize. This thing fits perfectly in your wallet. And there are other pretty cool features on here. And it's also got some EDC features to it as well. So uh, the second thing is my knife, as you'll see right here. This is a, a Benchmade auto knife. I think this is like a three and a half inch blade. This knife, as you can see, is all beat up. It's 11 years old and still got the nice edge to it. Uh, some of you military people, would, would know and appreciate the Benchmade knives. They used to issue these to us in the Army. And uh, these things held up pretty well. I just like how they hold the edge. And uh, I wouldn't consider this as a self-defense blade because uh, auto knives are not really made for self-defense unless you, one of those scenarios we really need it for self-defense. But I'd prefer a fixed blade uh, for self-defense reasons. So yeah, this thing, uh, I love it and plus you know pretty cool feature with the auto but this thing has opened more boxes and cut more fruit than anything then uh, another thing as you'll see is uh, we carry your gun so here you'll see it's an appendix carry style uh, holster it's a g-code uh, I decided, this is a Glock 43. Uh, this is my cold weather winter uh, setup. So yeah, I prefer to carry an appendix carry uh, in a winter time just because of the extra added layer of clothing easier to access. In the summer times when wearing a tank top, I prefer to wear it on a, a different gun in a different position, but I can do a video on that as well. So another thing that you might, I, I carry once in a while, if, I, if necessary, it's always easily accessible, is uh, a flashlight. So I got the Streamlight ProTech, and you can see this thing is pretty bright. This, this thing takes uh, two AAA batteries, and it lasts you a long time. I usually just keep it in my truck, but uh, if I know that I'm gonna be in a nighttime environment, I'll just throw this in my pocket. This is nice and small. Usually I'll uh, carry this on me when I'm traveling uh, overseas. This thing is perfect. And uh, you know, some of the, some of these other countries at nighttime, it's not very well lit. So it's a good thing to have. And it's got the stroke feature on it as well. Another thing that I wear every day on me, religiously, is my watch. As I'll take it off for you right here. This is a, a Garmin Tactics Delta. A lot of you ask, ask me on Instagram all the time, what watch is this? And uh, this is uh, my Garmin watch. I use this a lot for my uh, fitness tracking. And uh, this thing is awesome. It also tracks my sleep and everything. But it's also great because it's a GPS. And um, especially when you're gonna go travel different countries or if you're gonna go hike, this thing is 
you can set waypoints and you'll know your way around because cell service is not great everywhere you go, especially when you get out in the country. Uh, I'm, I've been loving this thing. I've had this for over a year now and I use this every day. I feel naked when I take this thing off because uh, I've been wearing a watch since I was a little kid and um, my entire day is uh, so, such a tight schedule that I'm always looking at my watch and uh, this thing is, per you don't even need a phone, this thing is perfect it's for everything that I need. The, of course, only downsides, you've got to charge it every 10 days. This has been uh, holding up every 10 days on a, on a full charge, but uh, you can also make this last longer, of course, if you can turn off all the GPS uh, features on it as well. So, but for me, I kind of need this, especially when I go out for runs or bike rides. Uh, I'm gonna, I need the GPS to track uh, my distance and time. So, and of course, the very last thing, of course, all of us are attached to these evil things, but uh, is a phone. This is my phone. It's a iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, I know I'm not smart enough to have an Android, so I like to keep it simple. So that's why I stick to Apple products. Plus, it all integrates pretty well with my uh, laptop with an AirDrop because I don't always have my GoPro or my uh, Sony camera on me. And sometimes when I gotta do some video work, this thing is outstanding. I mean, you can see some of the videos you can do with, uh, with this iPhone. You know, look professional like they're shot with some of these uh, mirrorless cameras. But yeah, everything is an investment, but you know, I like quality products. I don't like to waste too much money. Usually every decision takes me a long time just to make up my mind of what I need. So I weigh all the options. Uh, if you're wondering what case this is, this is from, if you watch Unbox Therapy, that's the later case. Just like it because it's slim profile. It's got a nice carbon fiber texture to it. Some of you, uh, EDC nerds really like to carry all kinds of craziness and uh, 20 backup mags and you know for the zombie apocalypse but I just try to keep things simple and uh, you know the way I look at it is better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So uh, if you guys want to see more of these uh, style of videos just uh, hit us up in the comments and uh, I'm definitely going to do another video on this because this thing has so many pretty cool features especially your law enforcement officers really appreciate this because of the the functionality of this uh, and uh, that video is coming soon and there's also going to be another video coming of what i carry when i'm traveling overseas especially when uh when you can't you can't be carrying this overseas, this will, you won't even get in the airport. But there are many, many different options you can do and uh, you just have to evaluate what's important and what's not important to me. Safety of my family and myself is priority, especially when, when I'm in the high risk areas, like when you're in a different country. So that's why you train every day, don't rely on your tools too much and uh, let us know how much you like the videos. So if you want more information on uh, some of these products, I don't get paid for any of this. I've yet to make a single penny off of these YouTube videos. Everything has been purchased with my own money. So uh, it will help us to start getting monetized by more viewing hours. So would appreciate it if you'd like the video please subscribe and please share it with your friends and uh, we'll see you on the next one